What's going on, Hemp Squad? So, I'll do a quick video. I'm gonna be heading out for some work this morning. And it's time to do a little bit of wake and bake. So, this is gonna be another 8 Delta 8 cartridge. This is the Skrull, uh, Girl Scout cookies. I did finish the green crack. Um, you know, final thoughts on that one. I do actually feel like that one was better than the Girl Scout cookies. I do feel like that one was a little bit more potent. Um, Flavor-wise, I don't really see much difference in flavor. Uh, or taste much difference in flavor, I should say. Go ahead and take a hit real quick. So... These cartridges, I had uh, ended up looking on their website, and these are normally like I think forty bucks, fifty bucks, something like that. I got it for seventeen ninety nine. Um, honestly, considering going to the other place that I was getting them from, a couple reasons for that. Number one, I think this was the last one that my gas station had, so. Um, Gas station isn't really very dependable. Obviously, they're not really depending on selling just vape cartridges. They sell a lot more than just that. As compared to the smoke shop, that's what they specialize in, selling things that you smoke on. So I do have much better luck over there. Um, it's almost about double the price. It's only a couple dollars off being double the price. Um, I do feel like the actual quality for the cartridge the 8 Delta 8 is better. I think the actual uh, concentrate inside the cartridge, the other ones that I get are better, which I believe is NG or something like that. I don't have it in front of me. Go ahead, take another hit. So this was the last one, the green crack. <coughs> And uh, oof. so one thing, as you can tell, that I do notice is these do make you gag a little bit more than I find a lot of the other ones do. Um, I feel like it doesn't take as much to get you high, but I feel like the high doesn't last as long. So, I'm kind of like with just regular weed, it's not super... Uh, consistent across the board you know I mean you can get even with uh, crippy you know you can get some really good crippy one time buy it from the same exact guy everything the next time it's not as good and it goes back and forth it just depends on what their guy gets I mean it's kind of essentially almost the same idea here I mean they're not all going to be exactly the same even though they're all Delta 8 the actual quality and everything, of course, is going to vary. Um, I would say, as far as the ones that I have tried, I would probably put this more towards the bottom, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know. It, it's it's kind of... I feel like the other ones that I've tried, they had better taste, number one. Um... Like I said, I don't really follow the taste too much, which I really don't. The taste, I really don't find that it actually increases unless you start getting into the THCOs. The THCO, the, the flavor is pretty strong on those. Um, I do use the Toke Buddy battery. I have no idea if the battery plays any sort of part in that. Um... This is just kind of what I was accustomed to when I had first started vaping probably 10 years ago. And, you know, I hadn't vaped for a long, long time. And I just recently started getting back into it with all these Delta 8s and stuff being released. I had switched from cannabis to hemp. Um, I was only smoking the CBD flower. And then I started seeing the Delta 8 and started getting into the Delta 8s and those come in vapes. So back into vaping again so I'm not super familiar with vaping you know I'm not gonna act like I know all kinds of different things about vaping like I've tried all kinds of different batteries or something like that 
I've tried this battery and one other battery and that's really pretty much it. So I don't know how much the battery plays a role in that. If I was going to guess, I'm, I mean, it would make sense that it's going to play some sort of role. I mean, if anything, my biggest disappointment with this battery, in all honesty, is it takes forever to friggin' charge. I had um, woken up early this morning, probably about, I don't know, 3 o'clock this morning, and, you know, came out, got a drink, used the bathroom, went in, realized I didn't plug in my battery, so I plugged it back in. I woke up, it was probably about 7.30, and it still wasn't charged. And the battery don't really last super long considering how long it takes for it to charge. Um, that would be my biggest gripe with this battery. I do also notice that some of my blue is kind of chipping off of there. That would kind of be one downside as well. I don't even know how it started to chip because, I mean, I have dropped it before. But I didn't notice chips when I dropped it. They just kind of seem to have appeared out of nowhere. But unfortunately, it also takes part of the battery, the uh, voltage off there. I don't know how well that shows. But anyway, you can kind of get the idea. I won't make this too long of a video. I'm pretty much going to turn the camera here off in a second. Uh, just wanted to come on, you know, kind of keep some material going and so this is the latest it doesn't taste even like um cookies whatsoever it's girl scout cookies which i know girl scout cookies is the name of a strain and that's why i really don't follow the flavors too much because they're not necessarily saying what it's supposed to taste like it is also just that's more likely the strain that they use when they produce this delta eight um, you know, they probably took Girl Scout cookie hemp, converted it to Delta 8, Girl Scout cookie Delta 8. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know that the terpenes, you know, you can take, mix and match different terpenes to create different flavors and such. I mean, there's thousands of different terpenes. It's not something that's only in weed. Um, it's on a lot of different things. So you can actually accomplish a whole spectrum of different flavors um which is kind of why it's a little surprising and a little disappointing at the same time that like the last one or a lot of them that i've tried they don't actually taste like what you would expect them to taste like um uh, like the blueberry it really didn't taste like blueberry now the fruity pebbles i had uh, just recently just before that smoked fruity pebbles it was a cbd strain so, once again, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to actually taste like Fruity Pebbles, but, I mean, it is kind of implied when that's the name of the cartridge that you're buying. But, I mean, for instance, what would Green Crack taste like? I mean, so, the flavor I don't really get into too much. Now, with the THCO, like I said, it does seem to be a little bit more dominant with the flavor on those. Um, it's still not like, I don't know how to, I mean, the flavor's there, but it's, it's not like, say it said strawberry flavor. It's not like you just bit into a strawberry. I mean, kind of obvious, but that's the whole point of this channel is to kind of some of the newcomers and such. You know, that are getting into these Delta 8s and stuff. And the biggest thing that I kind of find to be odd with this. Now, this is the cheapest cartridge I have found. And it's $17.99 for one gram. I can tell you a ounce of goods where I'm at is roughly about 250 bucks per ounce. Which is 28 grams. If I was to buy 28 of these, it would be up over $500. I do kind of find it comical, to an extent, that so many people are chasing all these different things that are being released 
trying to find what's going to be closest to Delta 9 when they could just go by Delta 9. I don't know. I mean, I can't really say too much. I am sitting here smoking on Delta 8, but I wasn't actually, I didn't switch from cannabis to hemp because I thought hemp was going to be the same as cannabis. Um, it was really more for the medical spectrum of it, um, which is kind of why I'm even into the Delta 8s. But it does seem like there's quite a few different people that are actually just getting into these simply for the fact that they want to find what's going to be closest to Delta 9 or even better than Delta 9. And I mean, to me, that would actually kind of get into the realm of addiction. And I've always believed that weed isn't really addictive. It can be to a sense. I mean, you do end up kind of missing the high a little bit, but it is also a extremely expensive habit. And um, smoking cigarettes also a very expensive habit. It's not only with cigarettes a very bad habit to have, it's also very expensive. The amount of money myself that I spend on cigarettes, if I didn't actually smoke, I would could only imagine how much money I would actually end up having left over at the end of the year. Even just weed. So, just things to consider. Now, I can say that I don't smoke 28 of these per month. So, you're not actually buying 28 of these, obviously, per month. I would say probably five or six of these I go through a month. I haven't actually smoked these and only these for a full month yet. But I haven't actually smoked any flour for a few weeks now. So I do have a fair idea as to how long these cartridges are going to last. And with the THCO, one thing I can say on that is this has actually lasted me roughly about as long as the THCO had lasted. Now, I did find that the other ones I was getting was maybe a day or two more. Two at the most. So it's really not that much when it comes to how long they last. Um, they really don't last very long at all. Only a few days. So. Anyway, like I said, I don't want to keep this video going for too long. I already had it's going on 13 minutes. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, smoke it if you got it, as you all know. Not a bad cartridge if you're looking for something inexpensive. And you happen to find these like I did for $17.99, definitely worth picking it up. Would I pay $30 or $40 for one of these? No, I would not. Um, I would go to Dr. Strain's before I went and bought one of these for that kind of price. Dr. Strain's, I do feel, is better quality than this one um, as far as the Delta 8 goes. Honestly, I kind of feel like Dr. Strain's is probably the best out of the ones I've tried, to be honest. Um, I will probably end up starting to go back over there. But like I said in my previous videos, the shipping is just kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, they're only a couple towns over. So having to wait two days for the shipping when it's about a 40-minute drive, it's just out of the way. It's just kind of one of them things, you know? But... Anyway, like, subscribe, comment below, um, all the good stuff on YouTube. Thank you all for watching. Smoke it if you got it. Until the next video, peace.